everybody, it's Rebecca Virginia, and today I'm going to let you choose how you want to DIY a Dollar Tree item. You can do it this way or that way. The first Dollar Tree item is a wood Christmas tree decor piece. I'll show you three different ways to DIY this piece of decor and let you choose which way you want to DIY yours. The first DIY is a Christmas napkin holder. The first thing that we're going to do is disassemble this wood Christmas tree piece. And there are five pieces, but we're gonna end up just using three for our DIY. You could also paint this, but because I'm gonna be using it as a napkin holder and it might be near food, I didn't wanna have any paint in case it was toxic, so I decided to just cover it in some scrapbooking paper instead. Another way that you could also use this wood piece is without even DIYing it. I've seen people use it as a utensil holder, so you could cover it in scrapbooking paper like I am and then reassemble the entire thing together and have it hold your utensils for Christmas dinner. But I really liked the idea of a napkin holder, so I am reassembling this and hot gluing the pieces back into place. I'm just omitting those side pieces so now our napkins can lay nice and flat in between the two Christmas trees. Once the glue has dried, the two Christmas trees hold the napkins in between them perfectly. The next project is a DIY Christmas shelf. I'm disassembling my napkin holder and I'm taking that Christmas tree that I had on the one napkin holder side and hot gluing it on top of the other Christmas tree. A great hack for any hanging DIY project is to make your own hook or holder using a soda can ring tab. To cover up the area where the two trees overlap, I'm taking some garland picks and hot gluing them down over that area. To give the shelf a snowy winter look, I am adding some white paint to the garland to make it look like it snowed, and then I'm also adding a little bit of white paint to shade the outside of the shelf. I added a couple of these white and red berries, and then my shelf was complete and I was ready to start placing some Dollar Tree items on it. I love the way that this candle looked, but I also really liked this LED light up Christmas tree, but I think my favorite had to be when I put the church on the shelf. The final way to DIY the wood Christmas tree decor piece is by using it as a shelf for your elf on a shelf. The second Dollar Tree item is a wood triangle frame. I'll show you three different ways to DIY this piece of decor. The first DIY using the frame is a woodland winter scene. You're going to start off this DIY by taking some tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree and painting them brown. Next, we're going to take out the back part of our wood triangle frame. I painted my frame brown because I wanted it to look like a darker wood. Now to set our rustic scene, I am taking some of this white birch scrapbooking paper and I am cutting that out and then mod podging it down onto the backing of the wood triangle frame. To smooth out any air bubbles, I'm using an old gift card to just smooth them out and make sure that they're not present. Once the paint has dried, I'm hot gluing the tumbling tower blocks onto the base of our wood triangle frame to give it a little bit of height. Now that our scrapbooking paper is placed onto the back of that triangle frame, I went ahead and put the frame back together by hot gluing it back into place. Now I'm taking some of these Christmas tree figurines from the Dollar Tree and hot gluing those into the woodland scene. Then I thought it'd be really cool to drill some holes into the back of our frame and poke some lights through so that it would kind of look like stars in a rustic nighttime scene. So I'm going ahead and doing that. I am just painting a wood star, which I ended up painting white because I thought it popped more. So although I painted it brown in the clip, I thought the white was just a better look for the overall scene. The second DIY using the frame is a Jingle Bell Tower Tree. I took the backing out of the wood frame once again, and then I had some wood dowels and I probably could have just measured this to figure out the width in between each of them but I hung a jingle bell from them and just kind of used that as my measuring tool to figure out how many wood dowels I needed and how far apart they should be. It ended up being about an inch and a half, but it really just depends on whatever kind of bell that you're using. And then I painted the wood dowels in a brown color after I cut them to size, and then I put them aside to dry. I took a set of string jingle bells from the Dollar Tree, but because I wanted them to be hung, I got some ornament wire hangers and I cut them down to size so that they would hang just a little bit on my jingle bell tower but wouldn't be hitting the other wood dowels beneath them. 
So once again, depending on the size of your jingle bells and how many wood dowels you want and how you want it to hang, it'll vary a little bit, but you can just really tell by using your eye and trial and error and figuring out how you want your jingle bells to look. Once my wood dowels had dried, I hot glued them into place inside my wood triangle frame. Once you have your wood dowels hot glued into place and the hot glue has dried, you are then able to start hanging up your jingle bells. And how you want to do this or how you want to sort the colors is entirely up to you. I did mine in an increasing jingle bell method and just tried to vary up the red and green as best that I could. The last DIY using the frame is a silver and gold light up tree. I removed the wood dowels that we placed in the previous project and now I'm taking this picture hanging kit from the Dollar Tree. It's awesome because you get this whole kit for only a dollar and it had these O hooks inside which is what we're going to be primarily using when creating this new project. So as you can see I opened up the hooks a little bit and now I am just screwing it into the side of the wood frame. And it was kind of hard to do with just my hands, so I did take a drill to make the initial hole for me. And then the rest of the way, I just screwed it in with my hands. And I did this in a zigzag method. The silver and gold jingle bells from the Dollar Tree came with this silver thread. So that's what I'm using to weave through the O hooks. I'm using the same method that I used with the previous DIY to make little ornament hooks for the jingle bells. And first I'm just eyeballing and placing them where I think that they would look best. And then once I've decided where I want them to be placed, I'm adding a little bit of hot glue so that the jingle bells don't move. The final step is adding some of these fairy twinkle lights through the threading and O-hooks as well. This light up tree DIY rounds out our three different DIYs using the wood triangle frame. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Until next time, keep searching, keep creating.